Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another Shamshir Sound video. My name is Ali Nadam, and today we're going to be looking at something simple. We're going to be looking at my favorite shortcuts, my hotkeys that I use in FL. So this is FL Studio 20, but it should apply if you guys are using older versions as well. And though the things we're going to go over are quite simple, maybe some of these hotkeys, these shortcuts might be beneficial to you, might not know they existed. So comment below, let me know what shortcuts you guys like to use. And uh, before we get into the video, guys, remember to smash that like button, give it a nice little smash, because when you press the like button, it means so much. And if we get some likes on here, I'm going to make sure that we deliver that big room project because you guys are really liking the big room tutorials. So I want to make some more big room tutorials, song tutorials and share those projects with you. So smash up the likes. Let's jump right in. So first thing I want to show you guys, of course, the classic, the control A. Everyone knows the control A, nothing crazy here. What does control A do? It selects all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control A and I'm going to hit control G. Now, before I hit that, notice how these are three notes all separated. Control G will glue your notes together. So when those notes are you know, connected to one another, control G, let's do it again, will glue those notes. And that can be helpful when you guys are doing chords and maybe, you know, maybe you want to make the notes sustain a bit longer. Maybe you don't. If you notice there, how did I go in reverse? I hit control Z and you can hit control alt Z to keep going back steps, uh, to keep undoing. Another really good shortcut I like is um, using control. So hold the control button down and hit the arrow down on your keyboard or arrow up. And what that does is it takes everything you've selected and it goes down one full octave or up a full octave. Really good if you guys wanna try moving it up. And likewise, you can hit shift and go up and down and that will just move it, you know, uh, a semitone. The other stuff that I think are really beneficial as well is if these notes were not quantized and by quantized, I mean like, not right on the beat. So let's say if these were a bit different from one another. So what you can do is you can hit control A again and hit control Q. Now make sure that you are snapped to the grid before you do that. So hit line. There we go and hit control Q. And we can see there it's now quantized that by hitting control Q and quantizing it will allow it to make this uniform so that it is according to the grid that I've selected. In this case, it just continued that. So that's also a really handy option. Of course, some other shortcuts that I really like to use are the classics. You know, if you go ahead and select something, control C to copy, control V to paste, you know, you can just keep pasting over a pattern or a, some sort of thing you have. And I really do that all the time too. Let's say my song is like my drop is this much. You can copy all those automation clips and everything and paste it again and put it accordingly on your playlist. Another one that's not a, sh a hot key on the keyboard, but I like using a lot is using this tool here, the slice tool. Um, the slice tool is really great, but also did you know that you can right click and when you right click, it turns red. When it's red, it will cut off whatever is the shorter bit. So if I cut off here, it's going to slice off this bar. But if let's say I did it here um, or let's let's say I do it here. You see there, it cuts off whatever is the shorter amount. So um, if I wanted to say like only have this, but not have this stuff here, then that's not gonna work because it'll do that. In that case, you'd wanna just left click and just remove that amount there. So that's also a cool hotkey. Another really important hotkey for you guys also is, of course, you wanna make sure you're auto-saving your projects and FL Studio does auto-save, but you can hit Control S to save your project. You can also hit control N and control N will save a new version of your project. And the nice thing is that once you save your project in a folder, let's say it's called Martin Garrick's track. Once you keep pressing control N, it will keep saving new revisions of that project. Number two, number three, number four, and so on and so forth. And that way it will reduce the likeliness of having like, um, you know, a crash or let's say your computer crashes. That way you actually have more projects that you can go back to gives you a bit more flexibility, gives you more peace of mind. Um, another thing that's great too is hitting control R. So when you highlight something or you're ready to export something, when you hit control R, that will get ready to render. So control R is for rendering. And when you hit save, you'll get those options. It 
It's the same thing as coming up here and going, you know, export control R you can see there. So these are some of the hotkeys that I use quite often. I might be missing a few. Um, I like using my mouse for a lot of the stuff, but the common things, I think I just wanted to talk about some little shortcuts that I use quite often. So I think I've covered most of them. The glue, we talked about the copy paste. We talked about moving stuff, transposing them up one full octave using control and up down arrow keys or semitones using shift up down arrow keys. And uh, a lot of the other stuff I love using the, uh, the, the mouse for. So do what works for you. At the end of the day, even if you're not using every single shortcut in FL Studio, that's okay. And the reason why I wanted to make this was, um, of course, there was this uh, channel that does this slam studio challenge. And they brought in a lot of like big artists and a lot of the artists didn't even know like the copy paste and this and that. And that's totally okay. Like as long as they're making great music, who cares if they're not knowing all the the ins and outs of, of how to do it. It's really, it's not knowing everything. It's like how you actually use it, how you wield that weapon, um, what comes out of it. Cause at the end of the day, it's the sound that matters, not knowing everything and being like this dude who absorbs all the information. But I hope that these can, uh, help you guys just these little cool little shortcuts. Um, now that we're on the topic of shortcuts, I want to also talk about the mixer. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys here. If you guys are on the mixer, I also like using, I've made videos about this. You can hold alt and when you hit alt, you can move, rearrange that mixer channel to somewhere else on the mixer. That's a really cool functionality. I like that. If you click on a mixer track and you hold control and you left click and hold, you can select multiple and you can bring down their volume in case you want to select everything for instance and bring down their volume together to maybe make sure that your mix has a bit of headroom so that's also a really cool one use control and alt and see how that works and i think you can use control s or shift control s mixer presets yeah so if you hit shift control s you can save a mixer preset and what that does is it saves whatever effects you have in the way that they are um, in the form of a preset that way if you recall it you can then open and say hey look like what's on my little lead here. Oh, I have these plugins on here and they were configured such. So that's good if you have like a signal chain that you want to save. And um, that kind of wraps it up for this video, guys. I just wanted to share with you guys some simple uh, keyboard shortcuts that I've been using for a long time now. And uh, comment below. Let me know what your favorite uh, shortcuts are. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I'm thinking about making some more big room tutorials in the near future. And of course, I just dropped my sample pack. So make sure you guys check out Allen Adams Signature Sounds Volume 1. You'll see teasers for that everywhere. YouTube, Instagram, SoundCloud. It's a free download. So you can check that out in the video description. And uh, that wraps it up, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.